If the physics of reflection does not exist in the world, we wouldn't be able to see a single thing even if there is light. When the light's wave meets a boundary, it changes direction, which we call reflection. We can predict the direction of a reflected wave using the law of reflection. The angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. To explain this, let's look at a ray diagram. A plane mirror is a mirror that is flat. The ray of light that strikes the mirror is known as the incident ray. Before we can draw the reflected ray, we have to draw what's called the normal. The normal is an imaginary line that is perpendicular to the plane of the mirror. The angle between the incident ray and the normal is the angle of incidence. According to the law of reflection, we can measure out the same angle from the normal, but on the opposite side to draw the reflected ray. When you look into a mirror, the image of you seems to come from deep inside the mirror. Again, ray diagrams can tell us exactly where this image is formed. Let's put a perfume bottle in front of our mirror and put our observer right next to it. Draw the first incident ray from the top of the perfume bottle, reflected to the top of the eye. Then draw a second incident ray from the same point, reflected to the bottom of the eye. Extend the reflected rays behind the mirror, but using dotted lines this time. Where the two dotted lines intersect is the position of the perfume bottle's image. Physicists call this image a virtual image because there's no way we can gather the rays from this virtual image and project it onto a screen. Contrarily, the image you see on a cinema screen is a real image because it comes from a projector and can be projected onto a screen.